Alec Kovaleski, your instructor for pesticide applicator training here. And today is our first lecture on calibrations and calculations. So calibration and calculations part one. For the example today, I'll be using a herbicide. And the target weed we're going to use is uh, Terexicum officinale or common dandelion. So this is a, a, per, a perennial weed that thrives in low fertility, uh, low maintenance situations. Uh, the weed here you can see blooming in the spring, but for the best control of the weed, we want to make fall applications of selective broadleaf herbicides. Okay, and I picked out a selective broadleaf herbicide post-emergent broadleaf herbicide to use for application on this weed. I picked Trimet Classic. I think it's the longest running uh, commercially available selective broadleaf herbicide for use on turf grass. It has 2,4-D, MCPP, and Dicamba in it. Uh, in the module section of your Canvas file in Supplemental Reading, so the module titled Supplemental Reading, you'll find the Trimet Classic label. And this is a great selective post-emergent herbicide for control of perennial weeds like dandelion, uh, thistles, so you got common dandelion, false dandelion, bull thistle, canada thistle, prickle lettuce, as well as buckhorn and uh, broadleaf plantain. So it's good for the dandelions, the plantains, and the thistles. Okay, so... Uh, I opened the label and I found the product rate and the maximum product rate we can use is 1.5 fluid ounces per thousand square feet. Uh, so the product rate is 1.5 fluid ounces per thousand square feet while the spray volume is 2 gallons per thousand square feet. So that means for every 2 gallons of water in the tank we want to put a 1.5 fluid ounces in each two gallons of water in the spray tank. Okay, so some more things to consider in this instance here, this example, we're gonna be doing, uh, or using a spray tank that's 50 gallons, okay? And we're gonna be treating uh, the surface area of an athletic field, and we're gonna say that the athletic field is 50,000 square feet, okay? So just over an acre in size. So these are the uh, kind of four important things you're going to need when doing pesticide applications. Taking a label, measuring out the product, putting it in a spray tank, and then spraying it out somewhere. You're going to need to know the product rate, the spray volume, the spray tank size, and the surface area that you're applying the product to. So those are the four important things here when doing pesticide calculations. Okay, so with those four things in mind, let's go to this first example here. How much product is needed to treat this athletic field? So remember here, we're putting down this product, uh, we're taking the concentrated form, we're diluting it in water, and then we're putting it on that 50,000 square feet athletic field. So let's take a step back to this slide here. And the important things we wanna know when calculating how much product to apply to a given surface area, we're going to narrow, narrow down our variables to the product rate and the surface area. So remember here, the maximum product rate of Trimet Classic is 1.5 fluid ounces per thousand square feet. So there's our product rate, which I took out of the label, our maximum product rate. And then our surface area now of this athletic field is 50,000 square feet. So with those two variables in mind, we're going to come over here. Uh, I got the question again here, how much product is, is needed to treat the athletic field? We had that product rate of 1.5 fluid ounces per thousand square feet, the surface area of 50,000 square feet. So if we take the product rate, of 1.5 and we divide it by a thousand and then multiply it by 50,000 square feet. So we're doing some cross multiply and division work here. 
we can solve for this unknown variable which represents the fluid ounces of product needed per 50,000 square feet. So 1.5 divided by 1,000 times 50,000 square feet gives us the answer of 75 fluid ounces. Our uh, variable here would be 75 fluid ounces of product applied to the 50,000 square feet athletic field. Okay, so there's our first example. Now let's move on to our next example. So in this question, it's asking how many ounces are needed for each tank. So you're going to fill up a spray tank with water and you're going to put the product in the water. So we want to know how much product is needed for each tank of water. So this time we're going to back up again. Uh, we're going to look at these four important variables here and this time the three things to focus on are the product rate, the spray volume, and the tank size. Okay, so uh, we've got the product rate of 1.5 fluid ounces per thousand feet. We want to put 1.5 fluid ounces in every two gallons of water and then we're going to fill up this tank and the tank takes 50 gallons of water to fill up total. Okay, so let's come back to the question here. And again, it's asking how many ounces are needed for each tank of water. Okay, so remember here, we had 1.5 fluid ounces per every thousand square feet. We've also got a spray volume of two gallons per thousand square feet. So when we say spray volume, that's the amount of solution that comes out of the nozzles of the sprayer. So we take that 1.5 fluid ounces of product, we put it into a spray tank and dilute it down, and then the sprayer applies the solution, the water and the pesticide, at two gallons per thousand square feet. Okay, And we had a spray tank of 50 gallons. So what we're going to do now is take that 1.5 fluid ounces per thousand square feet and divide it by two gallons per thousand square feet. So actually these numbers here, the, the 2,000 square feet, those two cancel each other out. So I can then take the 1.5 and divide it by the two. Okay, so 1.5 divided by two gallons, multiplied by 50 gallons, the size of the spray tank will tell us how many fluid ounces goes into each spray tank. So my answer ends up being the unsolved variable here, 1.5 divided by two multiplied by 50 gives us the answer of 37.5 fluid ounces per 50 gallon spray tank. So when we fill up our sprayer, we'll put in 50 gallons of water and 37.5 fluid ounces of product. Okay, so our final question now is how many tanks to treat the athletic field? Okay, so let's take a step back again and look at our, our input variables. So uh, remember here, your sprayer is putting down two gallons of water per thousand square feet and you can put up to 50 gallons in your spray tank, okay? But then you're treating a surface area of 50,000 square feet. So you're gonna have to fill up the spray tank multiple times to cover this 50,000 square foot area. So that's why we're trying to figure out how many times you have to fill up the tank. And our important variables here are the spray volume, which is two gallons per thousand square feet, the spray tank size, which is 50 gallons, and the surface area of 50,000 square feet. Okay, so again here, how many tanks to treat the athletic field? So we've got the spray volume of two gallons per thousand square feet, the spray tank being 50 gallons, and the surface area being 50,000 square feet. So this is actually a two-part question or two-step question. So over here on the right, we need to take the two gallons and divide it by the thousand square feet. So that's our spray volume, okay? And we've got this 
surface area of 50,000 square feet. We're going to solve for x here to determine how much water we're going to apply, or solution I should say, how much solution we're going to apply per 50,000 square feet. So 2 divided by 1,000 times the 50,000 square feet. Again, we're doing cross multiply and divide here. Gives us the answer of 100 gallons. So we need 100 gallons of water to treat this 50,000 square feet athletic field. Okay, but remember the spray tank is only 50 gallons. So now we need to come back and take the 100 gallons, divide it by the size of the spray tank, which is 50 gallons, and we're going to have to fill up our tank twice to spray this entire athletic field. Okay. So that concludes our example related to herbicides. In calibrations and calculations part two, we're going to come back and have an example with the same three questions uh, on uh, management of a fungus with a fungicide uh, called Turfside 400. And again, if you want to reference the label for TriMet Classic, it is in your supplemental reading uh, module on the Canvas website. I hope everyone's doing well, and I look forward to talking to you all again soon. Bye.